الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أحب تف الله I just wanted to mention something which is very important which I thought about for years and it's a big issue that we see in many of our communities especially Salafi communities uh, and even other than Salafi communities but especially Salafi communities and that is the role of the du'at or the role of the da'i meaning the support more specifically the support of the community for the du'at and what I'm referring to is that it's very important in order for us to build communities that we have support because we don't have a uh, like in many Muslim countries we don't have in a religious affairs uh, ministry or any other type of support but the support only comes from the community mostly it only comes directly from the community those people who are working and those people who support the community and support the leadership and help build the community the masajid likewise most masajid in the west they have fundraisers and they ask for money and so forth so it's not in a strong strong place the emphasis isn't on community building so much so and specifically related to the situation where I'm from in Seattle Washington in the greater Seattle area is we have many du'at I know many I know several du'at some of them very strong very strong students of knowledge even some I would even say that are like mashayikh for those those societies very strong especially amongst the Somalis and and some of the others and that with their strength and end, they don't have the support of the community that yes there's an imam that's paid but these tulab al ilm that are very very strong that I know from the Rus with the mashayikh and I've known them for years that are uh, that are have very beneficial knowledge to offer and they have a lot of ilm in fadli Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they don't have the support so some of them are taxi drivers some of them they're struggling with this and they're struggling with that so this is important for us to realize that we have to support our students of knowledge especially that communities need to begin to support those who are trying to go for, go abroad and, and learn the religion to come and teach the people and that have potential and that are willing to come back and do that for the community and likewise those who are already blessed by Allah to be in for example the Islamic University in Medina or in Umul Qara in, in, in Mecca or in uh, other universities uh, around the Islamic world those people who are accepted because in my time many of us for example myself it was out of our own pocket no one has given us even one uh, penny to help support our efforts in seeking the knowledge nor to bring the communities and nor to bring the brothers back and so it was from our own savings and this limited our time and our efforts uh, often in seeking knowledge so as uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned <coughs> in uh, Hadith al Qudsi, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Unfuk ya ibn Adam, or Unfuk ibn Adam, Unfuk ilayk. Spend, O son of Adam, <coughs> and I will spend upon you. That this is an investment in your community. That we need to strive and think about how to direct our youth to seeking ilm and to support them. And to support them when they come back, most importantly that those who have been blessed to be accepted in universities or who spent from their own wealth they need a support system so that way they can devote their times to coming back and teaching the people and teaching the community otherwise we have brothers they don't have gas money even to go give to give the khutbah or they are working at, you know as a garbage man or a carpenter which is nothing wrong with those uh, those professions or those jobs but it's taken away from their ability to give dawah 
And in fact, some people leave giving Dawa. We have many students of knowledge I've met, been in Canada. I've met brothers who I knew from Medina from many years ago. Some that were, you know, graduates of Kulita Hadith and stuff like this. And they were, they had no opportunities to do Dawah. So they're just like a regular Muslim. They come to the masjid, they pray, and that's it. But the benefit of their ilm did not go beyond themselves. It didn't go to go and reach out to the community because of other reasons as well. The politics in the Dawah or the politics in the... Uh, related to the external Dawah, meaning the Dawah of Ahl Bidah, because Ahl Bidah controls many of the Masajid, and they don't allow people from Ahl Sunnah or even people close to Ahl Sunnah uh, to give Dawah because they have it, they own and control what is being uh, communicated to the people. So this is my humble encouragement to the communities is to begin to support your Du'at and this is a, a support for your community and support for your children's future as Muslims to help them remain Muslim and to teach them their deen and to teach the people their religion. As the Prophet said, Whenever Allah wants good for a person, gives them understanding of the religion. And as the Prophet said, that Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim male and female. So everyone should have enough knowledge to where they can practice their religion properly. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.